U.S. allowed Ukraine to launch new strikes on Russian territory. Russians are afraid. Washington has given the Ukrainian president carte blanche to launch new strikes on Russian territory using Western weapons systems. About this, in an interview with the agency TASS, said the head of the second department of the CIS countries of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Alexei Polishchuk. According to him, the United States has not yet abandoned its obsession with inflicting a strategic defeat on Russia. The spiral of escalation continues in Washington. They are trying to justify their own crimes and protect Kyiv. Moreover, the Zelensky regime is given carte blanche to inflict US weapons RMB-1, new attacks on Russian territory, the diplomat emphasized. He added that the United States continues to dream of illusions of its own superiority. Few in the American elite are aware of the risks of such self-deception implicated in arrogance and underestimation of the enemy. The consequences may be unpredictable both for the United States and for the whole world, reminded Alexei Polishchuk. After many months on the back foot because of ammunition and manpower shortages, Kiev is finally able to take full advantage of Western military aid that started to flow into the country last month after months of delays. Soldiers on the front line say the deliveries are beginning to make a difference, especially since they can now use the arsenal to strike across the border at certain military targets supporting Russia's offensive in Ukraine. Recall part of the northern Kharkiv region, including the cities of Izium, Kupiansk and Balaklia, fell into Russian hands soon after Moscow launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The occupation was brutal. When the area was liberated in the fall of 2022, Ukrainian troops found evidence of what they say were war crimes committed by Russian forces, including multiple mass graves and torture chambers. In May this year, Russia launched another cross-border attack on the region, trying to exploit Ukraine's ammunition shortages before the expected arrival of the first Western weapons. It triggered a change in the position of our Western partners. It encouraged them to, at least partially, remove the restrictions on the use of the Western weapons. According to Ukrainian defense authorities, these included a regiment command post in the Belgorod region, an ammunition depot in Voronezh, a drone facility and an airfield in Krasnodar, communication centers in Bryansk and several naval sites in occupied Crimea. The arrival of long-range ATA CMS missile systems was a particular game-changer. Thank you.